the Lord is going to justify a people that will walk with him and will serve him and will do his will. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I feel an unusual covering of the Holy Ghost here this afternoon. Could this be the beginning of miracles? Could this be the beginning of the rain falling? It's going to be somewhere, sometimes, in some place, in some service, God is going to turn the page. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, I want to get I want to get one more verse here, and then I'm I know I'm, I'm five minutes past uh, according to my watch the hour we used to go to dinner. Uh, but I think you can give me. Could you give me? Uh, well, it take a couple of minutes to read this, but uh, in Revelations 10, 10 and seven, uh, brother. <laughs> I wish I had time to start the first verse and see how you brethren feel. By the way, you that uh, have questions as elders of the church, there'll be an elders meeting uh, Saturday morning, this coming Saturday morning at 8 o'clock here. We'll have our elders, that, that's all of our brethren that desire to be in the ministry, that you're already proven in the ministry, already calling, your calling's already proven itself, but all the brethren are welcome to attend that meeting Saturday morning. This, uh, next Saturday morning at 8 o'clock, we'll have an elders meeting, the last one for our convention, and then we'll, uh, we, you can talk about some of these scriptures if you would wish. Um, I have a lot of things the Lord's stirring my mind and heart on. I know he is yours too. Uh, look, but in, in uh, verse, um, uh, uh, well, let me, let me read this right, Lord. And I saw another, first one, another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow upon his head, and his face and his, as it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. That angel could be no more than Jesus Christ. Uh, that no, no other angel could fit that uh, description. Uh, Jesus is uh, the angel of God's presence, by the way. And he had in his hand a little book open. And we believe that little book is the book of judgment of the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is my thinking. I'm open to yours, and in our elders meeting or in the church here, you can write in questions, and we'll discuss that more if you don't see that. And he had in his hand a little book open, and he set his right foot upon the sea, and his left foot upon the earth. That's dominion. Only Christ could have that dominion. Only Christ could have that dominion uh, over the whole earth and over the whole sea. And he cried with a loud voice, as when a lion roareth, and he is the lion of the tribe of Judah. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. Seven outbreaks of a loud proclamation, uh, seven, a perfected number, as the seven stars, the seven churches of Asia, the seven seals, um, uh, the um, many sevens in the scriptures, and the seven vows uh, of judgment, uh, and when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, seal up those things which are seven thunders uttered, and write them not. This is going to stir some questions. Stir up among you, brethren, but think about it. You can ask me in the elders' meeting. You can write in a question if you don't understand it, um, and, and I'll deal with it. But notice this. I just want to throw this in because this is over your head. Some of you over your head. All this book of Revelation is... But I want to get this thought in, um, and, and I'm, I'm not going to go any further. I remember the seven thunders in time sequence did not utter their voice, did not utter their voice until the seven vows uh, had been poured out and, and the seven seals had been opened. Time sequence, read the scriptures. The seven thunders, and you say, what is a thunder? I believe it's a man of God. Uh, in an angelic body uh, that is uh, given the authority to utter something that's been hid since the book of Revelation. And John could not even write it. John could not even write it. It isn't written down. So to get it, to get an understanding of it, somebody will have to utter an understanding, won't they? Yes. You can't read it, can you? It said write it not down. Uh, so so uh, here, well how in the world will you get it? Uh, we'll have to get it in an angelic body in the role of an overcomer, and we'll have to
to get it directly from Christ himself, uh, who has the little book, uh, has, and, and has the understanding. Yeah. Now, these seven thunders uttered their voice. And, and, and verse 5, and the angel, I'm hurrying here, which I, which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven and swear by him that liveth forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that therein and the earth and the things that therein are and the sea and the things which are therein, that there should be time no longer. Now when, when is this time no longer? Not uh, time is with us really the we, we have a calendar, we have a time. We have a point in time to live, a point in time to die. We have time, we live in time sequence. The church is in time sequence. Everything is in time sequence. We have, we're all in time, we're still in time. But here time suddenly becomes no longer. Well, there's only seven days accounted for in time in the scriptures for man, only seven. Uh, someone said there's an eighth day. That's by reason of supplication. Uh, you have to use tots and shadows to get that eighth day. But there's only seven days allotted in time. Now, time is no longer. But here's the wonderful thing about when the 7,000 years, and if we're living now in the beginning of the seventh day, and we could be, we could be, in the beginning of the seventh day. That's it. That's the end. There's no more days created for us to do what we're going to do. So in, uh, here he said, uh, in, the, in, the, in, in, the, in the days of the voice of the seventh angel. Now, this is after time is no longer. So this has to be when the 7,000 years are accounted for. I didn't say live down. I didn't say fulfill. I said accounted for. Uh, uh, and because there's work to be done yet in the seventh day. See, God, God did two things in the seventh day. He rested and he placed man out of the garden. He's going to do two things in the seventh day now. He's going to rest and he's going to bring man back in the garden. Praise God. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. Get that? Yeah. In, 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 the, in, in the beginning of the creation, he did two things. God rested, then he put man out of the garden. Now on the seventh day now, the seven thousand years, he's going to rest again, but he's going to bring man back in. Because man has to come back in to a new heaven and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Praise the name of the Lord. And I'm living right on the edge when God is going to rest and bring back again the Eden of God. Praise God. Paradise. Praise God. That's why I feel heaven here right now. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. No more cripples there. No more blind there. No more destitute there. No more, no more of the world there. God will have dominion. His left, uh, his, uh, his right foot will be on the sea and his left foot on the earth. All right? But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished, as he had declared it to his servants, the prophets. Praise God. I won't read the rest of that because I, I'll take more time. I promise to take just a moment there. In the days of the seventh angel, did you know there's only one angel qualified to be the seventh angel? And that's the angel that was in the beginning of the, uh, the sixth day, and in the seventh day of creation, that was Christ, the angel of God's presence, uh, the Lord God, and, and now there's only one angel, the angel of his presence. Praise God. Jesus. So, so, so. I want you all to think about, get your mind off uh, everything else you can, and prepare yourself for the coming of the Lord. Praise. Prepare yourself Praise. Prepare yourself for the bride. Amen. Prepare yourself for the bride company because Jesus is coming soon. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise Have you enjoyed the day? Yes. Yes. Have you enjoyed the day? Yes. Yes. Praise God. Is it Robert? Is that right? Robert? 
Robert, I'm so glad you're here as a visitor for the first time. And after today, you won't be a visitor. I'm happy Robert's here tonight. Now, all of this message, I know, does not fit you nor belong to you, but some of this message belongs to you. Amen. You have come home. You've come to the right place. Stay with us long enough to get what God wants for you. And your whole life will change, Robert. Yes, Every bit of your life will change. Brother, You'll have a new life. Amen. You'll have a new reason to live. You'll have a new family. Yeah. And Jesus will come in your heart yes. and life and fill Ooh. your heart and life. Have any of three for my dear brother here? Amen, amen, amen. They didn't have dinner with us. They didn't have dinner with us. And tonight, in the night service, uh, listen, God will use somebody to throw the net out. Somebody to get the net out. Uh, Brother Hand, I, I apologize to you for taking this time. Uh, Brother Richard Hand could feed our souls as a gift from God. And we give honor to a man of God that is doing a, a great and wonderful work up in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Your wife, Linda. But he's going to be with us tonight. And I will just sit and listen like a, a schoolboy learning. Praise the name of the Lord. We've had a good day today, haven't we? Have you, have you enjoyed being here with us? Amen. I've enjoyed having you. May the Lord bless you. There is a wonderful meal in that dining room. There is a wonderful meal. And Brother Dean is standing there with his apron on, looking at me, and saying, it's time, Brother Marlowe. It's time. Uh, stay and eat with us. Uh, you ministers, I honor you first. You go. Uh, my brother calls in, someone uh, help you into the dining room if you need that assistance. I think you do. Um, we're so glad that you're home with us today. And I might say when I'm talking about getting ministers on their feet, I'd like to see Brother Carlson back on his feet. Amen. In our assembly here. Amen. And he, he, feed us. He can feed us also. As many, many other ministers here are able to do what God wants them to do. All right, that's all I have. Praise God. May the Lord bless you real good. Uh, take what you can of this, digest it, and do it in the dining room if you can. And may the Lord bless you.